The claim is that for 10 a.m. body temperatures of males, the mean is less than 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The sample size is n equals 39, and the test statistic is t equals negative 4.059. Use technology to find the p-value. Based on the result, what is the final conclusion, and use the significance level of 0 0.10. Okay, first, let's go ahead and highlight the claim. So we highlight the claim. The claim is that for a 10 a.m. body temperatures of males, the mean is less than 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's just go ahead and identify the following uh, values. Okay, so we know that the sample size is 39, so n is equal to 39. We're also given the test statistic t, which is equal to negative 4.059. And since we're testing about a mean, and the value is 98.6 degrees, that means that mu is going to equal 98.6. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to check the requirements. So with the study design used, we can treat the sample as a simple random sample. The second requirement is that the population is normally distributed or that n is greater than 30. The sample size is n equals 39, so the second requirement is satisfied and there is no need to investigate the normality of the data, so both requirements are satisfied. Now let's go ahead and state the claim and the opposite of the claim. So when we take a look at the claim, you can see here that the mean is less than 98.6. So the population mean is less than 98.6. And therefore the opposite of the claim would then be that the mean, population mean would be greater than or equal to 98.6. Okay, so now with that information, we can now identify the null and the alternative hypothesis. We know that the null hypothesis is always going to contain the equal sign or the equality. And then we have the alternative. Well, we know that the opposite contains the equality. So we would see that the null is that the population mean is equal to 98.6. And therefore, the claim is going to be in the alternative. So we would say that the population mean is going to be less than 98.6 degrees. So let's go ahead and put our result in here. So the population mean is going to equal 98.6 and the population mean is less than 98.6. Let's check our result and there's our answer. Now we need to determine what is the test statistic and we need to round that to two decimal places. Before we do, let's answer a few questions. Well, we're going to use the alternative hypothesis to determine whether it is a left, right, or two-tailed distribution. Since this is pointing to the left and it's less than, then we are dealing with a left tail test. Okay, and then what is the significance level? The significance level of the problem is 0 0.10. So we would say that alpha is equal to 0 0.10. And then the test statistic, well, we don't need the formula for that, but we are given the value, which is negative 4.059. So negative 4.059. They want us to round this to two decimal places. So this is negative 4.06. So therefore, the test statistic is negative 4.06. And there is our answer. Now we need to determine the p-value. So in order to find the p-value, we're going to first draw our bell curve and then label. So here we have our bell curve. We know that we have a mean of zero. We know that it's a left tail. And we know that the test statistic is equal to negative 
0 0.06. And so we are looking for the p-value, which is the shaded area here. So in order to find the p-value, what we're looking for is the probability of when that t test statistic is less than or equal to negative 4.06. Okay. Now, in order to find that p-value, we also need to know the degrees of freedom. So recall that the degrees of freedom is equal to n minus 1, and that is the sample size. Well, the sample size is 39, so we're going to take 39, subtract 1 to get 38. So now let's go ahead and then use stack crunch to determine that p-value. Okay, so we're going to go to stat calculators and then scroll to the T calculator because we're dealing with a T test statistic. And then what we're going to do now is put in the degrees of freedom, which is 38. We know that we're pointing to the left and then we're going to put in the test statistic of negative 4.06. And then we get the following P value. Now they want us to round it to three decimal places. So rounding it to three decimal places gives us 0 0.000. So therefore, we get 0 for the p-value. And there's our answer. OK, now we need to then determine what the conclusion is. So the first thing we need to do is compare the p-value, which we got to be 0 0.000 and compare it to the significance level of 0 0.10. If the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, we reject the null. If the p-value is greater than or e greater than the significance level, then we fail to reject the null. Well, in this scenario, it is less than a significance level, so therefore we reject the null hypothesis. Okay, and now we need to determine what our conclusion is. So we need to find out whether the original claim includes the equality sign or the equal sign, or it does not. So let's come back up here, and we would see that the original claim does not include the equality sign. So we're going to eliminate the last two sentences here for that. Now, since the original claim does not include equality and we rejected the null, then we're going to go with the first conclusion. So we would say that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that followed by the original claim. So we would say based on the p-value, there is sufficient evidence at a significance level of 0 0.10 to support the claim that for 10 a.m. body temperatures of males, the mean is less than 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's check our results, and there is our answer.